Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tai. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to remove the cache data and login data from a single website on Safari. So the reason that we might want to do this is if you have a particular website where you want to remove the data or the login information, sometimes the cookies are stored incorrectly and you want to remove it and you want to remove all the cache data as well. And you don't want to remove all the data, you just want to remove it from a single website. But that's because you don't want to be logged out of everything that you're already logged into. And so this is a way of removing a single website from that list. So anyway, if you haven't subscribed already then please consider subscribing and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest tech tutorials. So we're going to need to have the Safari application open on macOS, click on Safari and then we'll click on preferences and then we're going to have this general tab here and what you want to do is to click on the privacy tab just on the right of the center and this is where the data from websites are kept. So this is things like cached images and also cookies as well. So that contains things like login information for specific websites. So the part that we're interested in is here it's called cookies and website data. We want to click on this section called manage website data. So what we're going to find is a list of basic basically every website you will probably have visited since you've started using the Mac. And what we're going to do is to find the domain name of the website that we want to remove. So let's say we're using the website applegamingwiki.com. It could be any website to be honest, could be bbc.co.uk, could be anything that you're logged into. And then we're going to type it into this list or you can scroll down and find it on this list as well. We have it here, but you can also search Apple Gaming Wiki. And then we have here certain types of local storage, cache, cookies, local storage, HSTS policy, and HTTP alternative services. What we want to do is to select this item, or if I scroll down here, select this item singular here. Or if you want to do multiple ones, you can always hold down the command key and click multiple ones, or you can press remove all to remove every single one on this list. However, today we're just going to be removing the one. We're going to press remove. And that's going to be gone from that list. So anyway, that is how you remove the cookies and site data from a single website on the Mac on Safari. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.